Polls remain open as Iowa voters cast ballots in municipal elections. Locally, that includes city council and school board. And we'll update election day in a minute. But first, we have new information concerning an election fraud case from right here in Woodbury County. What we've learned in our top story this evening at 6 o'clock. New federal court documents now identify Woodbury County Supervisor Jeremy Taylor as an unindicted co-conspirator as part of a voter fraud case against his wife. Wife, Kim. New pretrial court documents reveal evidence of prior statements from Jeremy have been introduced in Kim Taylor's case. And according to those documents, Jeremy Taylor told then Sheriff Candidate J Shad Chihan that if he made a donation to Jeremy Taylor's primary campaign, then Jeremy Taylor would give Sheehan between 500 and 700 votes. The documents go on to say that Sheehan did not make a donation. Additionally, former Woodbury County Supervisor Rocky DeWitt may likely testify at trial regarding statements made by Jeremy Taylor that he, quote, had a lock on a substantial number of votes. Woodbury County Auditor Pat Gill also is listed in court paperwork as a potential witness. That trial is expected to start on Monday with jury selection. The federal government now expected to call around 20 witnesses. The alleged voter fraud happening uh, while Jeremy was a candidate for U.S. representative in Iowa's congressional 4th district in June of 2020 and during that same year during the general election when he successfully ran for Woodbury County Supervisors in the 5th district. The trial date for Kim Taylor is now scheduled for November 13th and she's facing 52 charges and a maximum penalty of five years in prison on every count.